guys, what's going on? Today we are going lobstering. I'm on the boat with my mom, my dad, and my brother Fisher. And my dad and Fisher are already in the water and they found some lobsters. So I'm about to hop in and catch some bugs. Under this rock, there's four lobsters and so they all look legal. So if, you, if Fisher will tickle them out to me and I'll, I'll net them with your new nets. This type of lobster bag is the easiest one to use when you're out there in the water. You just slip them past this and you got them. It's real easy. And I'll tell you, that rock, it would have been easy to catch them by hand, but that's the way I used to catch them when I was young. But now that we use these nets, you, you do such little damage to the lobster. We, we don't knock off any antennas. We don't, ow, look, he got me by the foot. We don't knock off any antennas. We don't knock off any legs. So if you catch a short, you can let them go. The net is, is really a, a lot easier on lobsters than ripping them out with your hands because they're holding on to rocks and you break off antennas, you break off legs, and then you measure it and you feel bad. You let one go with a broken antenna and four missing legs. Look at these lobsters, they have all their legs. So they're all legals, so we don't have to let any go. That one looks small, only because all the lobsters that we caught were so big that it made that one look, look small. So first spot, we caught six lobsters. The limit is six lobsters per person, so I'm gonna show you how to quickly measure a lobster here. So here's your lobster. He's kinda like stunted, he's still alive. I'm surprised he's not moving. Normally can't do this without wearing gloves, but here's my measure. They have to be greater than three inches. This distance between this spot right here is three inches. So this is called the carapace. The head of the lobster is called the carapace, the body, then you have the tail. These are your horns right here. You're gonna take your gauge and put it right above the horns, right in between there. You're gonna put it between the eyes right here. So it's right at this little hard spot and then this can't fall behind the head, the carapace. As you can see, this one's probably a little more than a half inch larger than it needs to be. If it fell behind the tail like this with the back end of the gauge behind the head, that would be a short lobster. So this is plenty big, good sized lobster. So let's put them in the cooler and go to our next spot. Well, look at him, look at him. That's how they make the noise right there. Look, he's doing it. He moves his he moves his antenna with his this, horn. No, look. This one's doing it. See, he's 
See, they do that noise on their own. They move, the, this is called the knuckle. They move the knuckle on this, it's called like a flat file or something like that. And that's how they make the noise. So when we catch them, sometimes you hear them make that noise. And that's how they try to fend off predators by making that crazy noise and whacking them with their antennas. There he goes. Okay, so we're almost at our second spot and there is a wall of rain coming behind us. No lightning or thunder, just rain, so I think we're okay in that aspect, but we got rain in front of us, rain behind us. That's Florida for you, and then it's perfectly blue right behind me. He's, he's very purple too. He's missing his nose, but he's 
legal. You see his jewelry? He's got a ring. cleaning up the lobsters and I just want to talk to you guys about the nets that you always see us use I am now making them handmade by myself we have a website I will have it linked down below you guys have seen this net in action a ton of times and that's why I started making it because a lot of you guys were interested in buying one of these nets so I'm just gonna quickly show you how we use them real fast on this nice size lobster here you want to get them out of the rock first I mean unless you're diving with rocks that are high enough that you can get your net under the rock, then go ahead and go for that. If you have shallow rocks, you wanna be able to tickle, use your tickle stick, get the lobster out of the rock first. Once he's out in the open, you're gonna stick this behind his tail just like this, put it right down on top of him, and grab him just like this. You guys saw me today, I caught two. Two in the net, that was awesome. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Sometimes you get them lined up just perfectly, one behind the other, just like that and whoo, two at a time and now you now you gotta grab this one grab this one and then you come up like this that's always really cool when you get to do that handmade by me if you guys are interested i will have a link in the description it's called floridalobsternets.com all right so now i'm going to quickly show you how to clean a lobster kind of the fast and easy way you can eat them whole where you can take a knife cut down the whole length open it up use the hose and squirt out all the guts out of the head or you can ring them where you take the tail apart and then you can use the head and the legs and the knuckles for like a lobster bisque or some kind of lobster stock, seafood stock. Um, the way I like to ring the lobster is I take one hand, fold the tail like this, grab the other hand on the head and you're gonna twist. And all that water that comes out, that's a mix of salt water and their blood basically. They have this weird like gray blood that if you let it dry on something, it's like concrete, basically. You never want to forget to rinse off your fillet table or your patio. Always be careful with that because that gray blood is sticky. There is head meat in there, so you can completely throw this in bisque, get all those great flavors. You can take all these legs off like this and use all the legs. Also, you can eat the meat out of the legs if you wanna break them all apart, just like that. You can take, I don't think there's much flavor in the antennas, so I wouldn't suggest putting those in your stock, but hey, if you want to, go ahead. This is what we're gonna use to clean the tail portion. You're gonna take the top half of the antenna, you're gonna break it off just like that. You don't need it to be too thick. And then you're gonna take your tail and stick it into the anal opening right here. And as you can see, this antenna has backwards facing spines. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick this in there and yes, this lobster is done. And then you're gonna pull it out just like that. And that's that di digestive tract, their entrails, the part you don't wanna keep where the poop is. You don't want this, get rid of that. And now you have a beautiful clean lobster tail ready to be eaten. There's your head for your bisque, your legs. Some of these smaller lobsters, their legs don't have a ton of meat in them, but a big lobster like this 
He's got some big legs. So you'll definitely get some meat out of those. The knuckles as well have meat in them. Fisher and I are going to finish cleaning up the rest of these lobsters and then I will meet you guys in the kitchen. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So tonight I am going to be making lobster lettuce wraps. Now if you've gone to a restaurant before, you've probably have had beef lettuce wraps or possibly chicken lettuce wraps. So I figured why not also try to do it with lobster. But we also get the best of both worlds because tonight's video is sponsored by The Butcher Box. And so I'm going to be cooking up some ground beef as well. So we're gonna get lobster lettuce wraps as well as beef lettuce wraps. Now you guys have seen us work with Butcher Box in the past. We absolutely love everything that they always send to us. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what they got going on this month. So Butcher Box is high quality meat that is delivered straight to your door. They offer 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, heritage bred pork, and wild caught seafood. Now this month, Butcher Box is offering free ground beef for life in your box for the length of your membership. I believe it is until September 27th. I'll have it on the screen here, but you have to use my link that I will have in the description. So if you guys are interested, make sure you click on my link and they'll take you right to the website and then you can go from there. I'm gonna show you guys a couple things that I got in my butcher box that I am super excited to try. You guys have seen us make burgers, steaks, bacon, salmon, scallops, different kinds of pork. One thing that they added recently is cod fillets, which we haven't tried yet, so I'm super stoked about this. Another thing we haven't tried yet is lobster claw meat. This isn't Florida lobster, so we get a little bit of taste of the claw meat of some different kinds of lobsters. Super excited about trying that. But they're always trying to provide you with the highest quality meat, and they're always adding new things. Awesome company, we absolutely love everything. So scallops, salmon, grass-fed beef sirloin tips, pork loins, a whole chicken, our ground beef that we're cooking up tonight. A lot of great stuff. So I'm gonna get everything back in my freezer. Then I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna whip up our lettuce wraps. And one last thing is your butcher box comes in a completely insulated box right to your door. Everything is completely frozen as if you had just taken it out of your freezer. So let me get it back in the freezer and let's get cooking. All right guys, so if you can see the giant pot behind me that's on the stove, Victor's also making fish head soup tonight with the giant cabaras we caught the other day. It's kind of funny because we caught the Kuberas with the lobster and then I'm cooking lobster tonight, so it's kind of like full circle. Now I'm going to be making the sauce that we're going to use for the lettuce wraps. And the first thing we're going to use is a half a cup of poison sauce. I feel like I can't use it without saying not to be confused with poison sauce. <laughs> oh, funny. Next we're going to do four tablespoons of soy sauce. One two tablespoons of rice vinegar. And if you haven't noticed, I am going off a recipe. I'll have it linked down below. The recipe calls for two tablespoons of sriracha, but I think I'm gonna start with one overflowing tablespoon, because I'm a slightly a baby when it comes to heat. Okay, so here you go. A nice dark brown, and that's your consistency. Now I'm gonna put this in the fridge for now. So we got Victor in the back, taking apart his fish head. Now I got two woks here. One's gonna be for my lobster and the other is gonna be for the beef. So I have three small um, yellow onions cut up here. I'm gonna try to split it in half, do half in one, half in the other. All right, so we're gonna start with the beef because that's gonna take longer than our lobster. So our beef in this one. Not just any beef, butcher Not box. Not just any beef. So my beef is almost done. If you guys have cooked lobster before, you know that it takes a very short time to cook. So now I'm going to add my lobster into the other pan. A little salt and pepper. I already did salt and pepper in the beef. going to take some ginger, some fresh ginger, split this kind of in half. There's a little more beef, so we'll do a little more in there. And then in the center of the lobster, as well as some garlic. Okay, so now time for the sauce that we made earlier. Of our 
chestnuts to each of these. Then we're going to add in some chopped scallion. Go. You guys ready for your lobster and beef lettuce wrap appetizers? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, so you can grab a plate. Start with two pieces of lettuce. birthday today so everyone can comment down below in the comments happy birthday Emily <laughs> okay. second round of lobster look at that baby I've only had the lobster so far and it was very tender cooked like this it's completely different than anything I've ever had like any way I've ever had lobster before, but I really liked it. I haven't had the beef yet, but I'm just assuming that that one's gonna be good. Beef is real good. So Brian just asked me, do you like one more than the other? And I said, no, they're both amazing for what they are. You know, you can't compare beef and lobster. You guys have seen Brooke's videos. She's cooked lobster like every single way you could imagine, but this way was extremely tender. If you guys have never tried this, I'm sure she'll post the recipe below. It was pretty easy, very flavorful. Get yourself that Butcher Box membership. I'm not just saying that because we eat it all the time, but it honestly is really good. All organic stuff. My lettuce wraps are a mess, but babe, you knocked it out of the park. Two really good recipes. And both, I mean, even though they were cooked the same way, you know, you got the beef, it's, it's, it's nice to compare the two side by side. They're both delicious. I love the crunch of uh, water chestnuts in both. But you could really tell on the beef, it was so crunchy, and they taste really healthy. But in the lettuce, it felt like I was eating something super healthy. It was very good. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it did taste healthy. And I like the variety between the beef and the lobster. Like Victor said, one wasn't really better than the other. It was just totally different. The beef one was delicious. And I was watching Brookie cook that lobster in the wok, and I was thinking to myself, she's, she's going to overcook it. She's going to overcook it, and it's going to get tough. But it did. She served it and it was still tender and it was delicious. I went back for a second lobster one already. Like everyone said, they're both undeniably good. And it's it's amazing how Brooke can cook so many of these meals and still come up with something so new every time. And I think that's the most fun part of it is because you could get tired of seafood and this and that. But if you keep mixing it up, not only does it taste good, it, it's kind of more exciting to get down and eat something new every time. Thanks, Fish. Yeah, this one's been asking me for lobster stuffed mushrooms. So I'm like, Dad, I've already done that. I need to do new things. Well, this was cool. It was new and it was fun. I mean, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with lettuce wraps, but I do have to touch on the lobster. I've had lobster cooked a thousand different ways with Brooke, and this is probably one of my favorites because like everybody said, it's super tender and lobster has a tendency to get super tough and chewy. And this was just like, it was perfection. Wow. So. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Great birthday dinner. Knocked it, <laughs> knocked it out the park. Yeah. Amazing. Well, another awesome day on the water followed by an amazing meal with my family. Another huge shout out to the Butcher Box for sponsoring this video. They have a lot of different options for you guys based on pre-curated boxes. You can make custom boxes and also different size boxes based on how many people are in your household. And if you guys are interested in the ground beef for life, make sure you check out my link in the description of this video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.